Hi friends, welcome to Engineering Clinic. So today we are going to install a software called Stalem E2 in Windows 11 operating system, which is useful for simulating cyber physical systems. So to start with, first we have to install JDK 11, that is JDK 1.11. So first we will download uh, Java from Oracle website to get it installed. So just double click it and set the default path as C colon program files and Java. So once uh, do the installation, so once the installation gets, so wait for the installation to get over. So once the installation is over, you just uh, go to Ptolemy, search Ptolemy 2. So P-T-O-L-E-M-I Ptolemy 2 in Windows. So click the link which is given for Windows 64-bit. Uh, you can uh, download that. The It will come around 500 MB. Uh, so just uh, double click it. There are two different procedures for Linux as well as for Windows. I will show you in the Linux also in the end of this video how to install. So this video contains both operating systems. So now it will be giving a window like this and click next and again click next and agree the accept the user license agreement. After that it gives you the default path C colon Ptolemy PT211 uh, like that. So give the default path and click OK and click next and the installation will go on so depends on the speed the installation will might be taking some time uh, in Windows it takes a longer period of time so anyhow I just cut short it so now the package is almost installed so once it is installed then click next then finally it will be asking you to set up the shortcuts but shortcuts we need not need it but in case you click next, there may be some warning or some error. You neglect that and click quit and the installation is done. So the installation is uh, almost successful and go to the folder where we have installed. It is C colon Ptolemy. C colon Ptolemy here and under Ptolemy we have this PT211. So go there and there will be an executable file called as Virgil. V-E-R-G-I-L dot exe. So double click over this Virgil dot exe file. So once it is double clicking it, uh, so this is the window which get open and uh, for uh, installation uh, we will run an example. So go to the documents and complete list of demos in the as per the given in the uh, video. So now uh, we will go with the simple tank model. So which is a simple system where uh, the tank is uh, simulated here. So the water level tank is simulated here. You can see there is a tank and there are some set of parameters and we have a plotter there. And once you run this example, and this is a default example comes along with the Ptolemy 2. So how the tank is getting filled up. So this is how the way the waveform will be shown. So this indicates that the Ptolemy 2 is successfully installed in our operating system. Okay. So now we will consider how installing in Ubuntu because many, many times we will be using Ubuntu operating system to install this Ptolemy and we use uh, predominantly in Ubuntu operating system. We will see how that can be done. Hi friends, now we are going to see the Ptolemy 2 installation in Ubuntu 20.04 or Ubuntu 22.04 in any of these operating system. Again, we need JDK 11 for this. So I have given the command in the description window below. You can check the commands one by one and then I can copy paste it in the terminal. So now I am downloading Ptolemy here. Uh, Unix like endings you have to download because all the Unix like families you can able to download this. Uh, same software with be it uh, Ubuntu or Fedora or whatever distribution we can download that. So once you download it right click over it and uh, click it compress it here. Decompress here or extract here. So once it is there open a terminal and uh, go to the terminal and then uh, check for uh, the software there. So first we need to use the dot slash configure dot slash configure then it will be telling you to set the environment PT to environment that is Ptolemy to environment we have to set it. So what we have to do is so first we will go with the enable verbose mode so that whatever actions we are doing it will be enabled. All the commands I have just given in the description window you can able to use those commands. So now I am just setting the path variable here. So where I have just uh, copied my Ptolemy to folder. So in the bash rc file, which is in the home folder, I need to set the path on the pt2 environmental variable. So here the command will be export path equal to dollar path. 
so dollar path indicates already that the some path might have been set so that also will be there and uh, paste it here so this is the location where we can paste it see there is a path folder so all the file can be executable from any location so we can give a slash bin also similarly export pt2 so the name can naming convention you can see here so pt2 you can copy directly from here and pt2 equal to again you uh, come back here and copy the complete path path and then paste it here so once it is pasted here again go back to the terminal then uh, source it or else you can log out and log in back then we'll be running the configure again so now this time the configuration works fine because we have already set the path and jdk also installed so now the configuration is going on so once it is done we have to give the command make so there are two commands uh, if you want to run the simple make command it may take some time better you can give make space hyphen j8 so this is that all the cores of your computer can be useful for in when you install the software so i just uh, con put control c here and then i give the command make hyphen j8 so once you give this command the installation got succeeded so unlike windows the installation just took over just only 50 seconds to install the complete packages so this case uh, it is very easy for us to uh, install in windows instead of uh, sorry install in ubuntu instead of uh, doing it in windows yes that's all so total time taken is just 50 seconds so the build is successful so maybe be, there may be some warnings or uh, some kind of warnings so you just uh, discard those warnings no issues in that now to run this application so unlike windows uh, this is terminal based so we have to go to the particular uh, files and folders to run it so we have a bin folder here cd bin and you can see all the executable files are available in un under this folder so you can see there is a file called as virgil v e r g i l so simply run it using dot slash virgil so once it is run it the same window like we have opened in windows that will be opened here directly so again go to the documentation and go for a complete list of demos so you have multiple list of demos so all the demos were all of, uh, very good projects you can able to try upon on cyber physical system, digital systems, uh, signal processing applications. So there are many applications uh, we can able to do simulation using uh, Virgil software. So thanks for watching this video. So in case if you are struggling to install this or if you want to help your friends, students, research scholars, postgrad students, you can uh, send this video link to them and ask them to subscribe to my channel for uh, all the videos. So thank you very much for uh, watching this video. Thank you once again.